Hello, I'm Richard with EV4U Custom Conversions, and I'm standing beside a 1966 Porsche 912, which is going to be featured in a video series. So I uh, hope you'll join us. Uh, this will be uh, multiple episodes. I'm not sure how many at this point, but we're going to uh, feature this Porsche in a conversion from gas to electric. And one of the things that I think uh, some of our viewers will find interesting about this one is that we're going to use one of today's most popular um, conversion setups. And that is we're going to use the high performance electric vehicle systems AC51 and the Curtis 1239-8501 uh, inverter. And so uh, this isn't going to be any different than some of the other Porsches that you've seen us do in that um, this is going to feature the uh, Cal CA series 100 amper hour cells, uh, 44 of them. Um, there will be uh, 24 in the rear, two saddle racks, 12 each, and then one pack up front of 20. And so it's not really anything special. It's going to be, you know, uh, this is kind of a run of the mill, but we haven't featured uh, one of these in a video series. So I thought we'd do that since it's a popular setup, give you guys some insights. We get a lot of questions on how to wire up the uh, HP EVS uh, systems. So we'll, um, uh, you know, uh, highlight that aspect of this video series or in this video series. Um, and so this is, uh, like I said, fairly run of the mill. The only thing that's not really par on this one is the car's a little rougher shape than most of them that we receive. Uh, but beyond that, this should be a good example of what we see a lot of. So um, stay with us. We're going to do a, a walk around. Uh, this is the car after it's been cleaned. It's not how we received it. Um, but stay with us uh, to see a walk around of what the car looked like when we received it. And then stay with us through the series and check out its uh, um, progression through the conversion uh, process. So, as always, uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this series. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to uh, email us at info at ev4unow.com. And also, if you want, you know, more information and want to <clears throat> um, more in depth than what we're going to do in the video series on how to do a conversion of your own. Check out our website ev4unow.com and check out the uh, three-day hands-on conversion workshops that we offer where we walk you through um, all the components, uh, how to select components, how to, you know, uh, choose components that are compatible, that are compatible with your vehicle, and so forth. So anyway, that's ev4unow.com and the three-day hands-on conversion workshops. And you get to actually drive an electric vehicle when you're done, one that you convert yourself. So hope to see you at one of those, and stay with us. All right, this is our video inspection of the 1966 Porsche 912 received from a customer in Colorado. First thing we notice is the front bumper doesn't fit quite right. It's a little closer on the passenger side than it is on the driver's side obviously been tapped
at a glance I would say these are not uh, stock diameter wheels look like a larger wheel yep indeed they are 16s um, looks like there's been a little body work done around the rear fender area here door doesn't fit very well on the driver's side it's out in places so kind of rough for a starter but it will uh, will be converted to electric deck lid fits a little off tight on that side much wider gap on this side it doesn't fit down all the way has some issues there can Looks like there's been body work around the rear fender area. Passenger door doesn't fit very well either. Looks like Bondo and paint in this area. So well, let's uh, let's open things up and take a look from. Okay, here's the interior. Shot of the dash. Let's uh, take a look in the engine bay here before the battery runs out on the camera. One of the things we noticed right away as it was coming off the trailer was they didn't support the transaxle. So this thing came all the way from Colorado just bouncing around. So we'll have to take a look at it, make sure there's no no damage. So anyway. That's kind of the ins and outs of this. And we'll do a little bit of cleaning up. Here we have the view from the passenger side. Somebody's uh, kind of changed the door panels and the carpet. So we'll take a look under the bonnet. So, received with the gas tank and engine removed. And as I noted a moment ago, the transaxle just hanging there. So this is kind of the state of affairs as received. And battery's missing. The uh, battery shelf area here looks uh, not too good a shape. It looks like, yeah, like I said, the thing was hitting the front here. You can see where somebody's kind of welded a, a patch there. And so we'll have to do a little bit to the battery location there so we can put the auxiliary battery in its place. Uh, we go with a slightly smaller AGM battery that we'll put in there.
he sent us some new gas shocks for the front. We'll put those in. So we'll get some uh, footage on the underside of the vehicle. And a bit here. This. You can see where work has been done on the kick plates here. It's a 1966, so it's 49 years old. Again, you can see where body work has been done. All right, we'll pull her in the shop and uh, store her till we get the uh, payment and we can uh, order parts and get things rolling. Well, one of the first things we're gonna do on this 1966 Porsche 912 project, as we prep it for conversion, is we're going to change the uh, gas shocks on the bonnet and on the deck lid so that it um, will support itself. So the customer provided us with replacement items so that's what we'll do first. I'm not going to bore you with uh, watching me do it but just let you know that that's uh, one of the first steps we're doing on this vehicle. I'm going to change those out and then we're going to give it a bath because I don't like dealing with a dirty car. Stay with us. A couple new gas shocks and the hood now opens properly and stays up as we want. Now let's go do the deck lid. Well, now the deck lid goes up and stays up by itself. So with that out of the way, it's going to be a little easier to do the rest of what we need to do. So let's roll this thing out and give it a bath. <laughs> 